Wow, repeat the question. <laughs> That's a difficult question, yeah? Ooh, okay. <laughs> I think what drives me a lot is the love of sports, um, the love of athletics and, and what I do as a professional athlete and, and uh, leaving that, uh, the next generation to know that uh, sports also can be professional. What I do then is like when I finish with one, I give to the fans. The lucky fans. Who is going to get the final one? <laughs> you you don't choose. You just give to one fan because they are all your fans. They come here. They come there to support you. So you don't choose. Yeah, I can say my career has been really, really good uh, since I started uh, with the World Championship, starting with the youth category until uh, this is my sixth uh, senior World Championship and uh, I'm really, really happy for the progress I've uh, done so far. <laughs> and um, I still have a long way to go and looking forward for the bright future. For me, I feel it's, uh, it's come with some pressure at the uh, at some point because feel like I've influenced many girls and women around the world and also in sports, in athletics, you know, that everything is possible, you see. Like, um, I've, I've been being patient for the world records and over a sudden this year I broke three world records, which was amazing. I've been talking a lot about the legacy um, to show the young generation, like, this is the way to do. And leaving the legacy will motivate the young, uh, young girls and young women around the world. If you don't accept to be beaten or well, if you don't accept like to lose, you are not a winner every time. So this is sport and we have to live with the outcome of the day and we just move on. When you are in cold room, you think how the days will go and you get nervous and when you are changing, you tense a little bit knowing that uh, the next thing you will be inside the truck and just focusing in the race. Kipiego is well clear though. Champ Chia Chia back in fifth place is out of this now. And Kipiego with five meters, six meters goes clear. Hassan running for a minor medal here. Well, Teji producing a wonderful run. She's run 355. It's going to be no power outside that here. But it's Kipiego's gold as expected. Well, Teji the silver for Ethiopia. And uh, Hassan the bronze. 354.87 after a very slow first 800 meters. I said before the race, how do you defeat Faith Kip Yegon? Well, that question is still writ large up in the sky above this gorgeous stadium in Budapest because she has retained her title three times a world champion now. <laughs> What makes me continue to the finish line? Oh my god. <laughs> the medal. <laughs> yeah, because you know, we all come as athletes, we all dream of winning and get that medal in the championship. And, and um, yeah, I think that's all. <laughs>